there. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing today? It is February 12th, 2023. It's 6.45 p.m. and we are starting to get a little snow. It wasn't supposed to start till, well, it's, it's it began last night saying that it'll snow, probably start snowing about, I don't know, maybe eight o'clock tonight and then it just showed midnight about an hour ago, but I stay focused on the window just to make sure and we are getting some snowflakes. So we're gonna head over towards the part of town where it's probably snowing the most at the moment. How are you all doing today? Happy Super Bowl Sunday to you all. Um, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. It does it does help, so thank you. I don't really know how, but it, it apparently helps a lot. So <laughs> please do your boy a favor. Hit the likey and the subscribey and even the notification belly. Appreciate it, y'all. All right, let's do this. Let's freaking do this. So as I said, it is, uh, well, it's actually a little later than 6.45. It is 6.49. Temperature says 41, but we're getting snow. And the further we go in this direction, we'll probably be getting more snow. This is where we're at right here, just so you guys can see. And then I'll show you guys the radar on the phone on the phone. It's, a, it's the phone radar, the fader. It's the fader a million anchor. Alright, let's see here. Man. I was hoping last night Volkanovski would, would beat Makachev, but unfortunately it didn't happen. I'm a fan of Israel. Or, or <laughs> freaking... Hang on a second, I got a text message. I, hang on. Hang on a second. Yeah, anyway, sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. I'm a fan of, Is of Islam Makachev a lot because I'm a, I'm a huge, uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov fan, but um, wish he would have fought one more time and got that 30-0 record, but it, it, it is what it is. Makachev, Mahakachev, whatever, however you pronounce his last name, I believe it's Mahakachev, but man, that guy's going to be, that guy's going to, even though he already has one loss, I still think he could go down once his career is over as even greater than, um, than his best friend Khabib. Khabib? Nerimogamedov. All right, so let's take a look real quickly at the weather. Let's take a look at the weather. So this is what it's showing right now. And then when we scroll down a little bit, this is what we got going on here. Let's, we're going into the village, by the way. That's us with the arrow. We gotta get the welcome to the village sign though. Hang on a second. Okay, and then let's hit the play button so we can see where it's going. Boom. So yeah, so we're just about to get hit. I, literally, as soon as I see a snowflake, I'm gone. I pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. I drive around town to find snow. That's a win. Once again, I hope you guys are enjoying your Super Bowl today. I was going to make a joke about a Super Bowl, but... Uh, I won't. I did a video years ago up here where uh, um, there was actually a Super Bowl commercial filmed up here over in the Baldwin Lake area and the film trucks and film crews were all over there. It was pretty awesome. Um, and when I watched the commercial, I decided to go do a reenactment of it. I wish I could find the video. I have over 3000 videos, so it's really hard to find. Can't remember which year that Super Bowl was. so really hard but it was pretty funny I reenacted the whole thing it was basically someone stuck on the, the side of the road in a massive snowstorm and yeah it was it was it was, it was cool it was fun all right so we are in the village and if you guys can see the snowflakes coming down once we get past this area hopefully you'll be able to see the uh, the snowflakes coming down Temperature has fallen off to 38 degrees. 
Oh, I love the snow. Can't really see anything up at these lights. Usually the lights will allow you to see the snow a little better. But we're not getting anything good when it comes to that. Oh, let me clean off the inside of the windshield right here, the part where I'm usually recording. Okay, sorry about that. That should be a lot better. Oh, that's a lot better. Now you can see the snow down there. Look at the headlights, you can see it coming down. So this isn't gonna be the longest video because we're gonna wait uh, once it starts really picking up. We're gonna go back out and do another one. And hopefully my wife will come with me on that one. If it's snowing hard enough, I'll do a live feed even though it'll be really late. If it's past 10 p.m., then we, we're gonna ixnay on the Ivele Eidfe. Yeah, so we are right here. Uh, at, we just exited the village. Um, as I said, it's 38 degrees, 6.54 p.m. And uh, we are headed towards the Big Bear Dam and then we're gonna flip a Yui at the Damski. So this is one of the paid snow play areas. You can't see it because it's closed at the moment. Unfortunately. My bro, I really wish I could. Trust me, I really wish I could. So we are on Big Bear Boulevard. This is also known as Highway 18 for you all. And tonight I'm also gonna post uh, the road conditions once it starts snowing more, because I'm, I'm never too familiar with what's going on on the other side of the mountain, which is where you guys typically drive up from, over by Running Springs and Lake Arrowhead area. So um, a lot of times, obviously right now, because temperatures are pretty high, I'm thinking it's probably not gonna be snowing over there. They'll probably be be getting rain to start off this storm um, so it might not be too treacherous but I do want you guys to be safe and I just want you guys to enjoy your stay up here or enjoy your journey getting here I there's there, there's no way I want you guys to get hurt in any way so I want you guys to have as much information as possible obviously right now road conditions are just perfect you're not gonna find any ice or snow on highway 18 at least not until we get near the Big Bear Dam. Then in some of the parts where it's really narrow and there's, it's really kind of hilly and rocky on one side, the sun doesn't shine down directly too, too much time during the day in those particular areas. So there still might be a couple little sh shades of ice and snow in the road, but it won't be much. Even on a bicycle, you could probably handle it. Right now we are coming up to Boulder Bay. I wanted to capture some more snow. That's why I'm driving this direction. But as I said, once we get one snowflake out there, once I see the first snowflake, we're, we're out. We're out doing this. Um, I love doing this for you guys. I initially started this channel because I couldn't afford any thumb drives and just living a very, very depressing existence. Um, I moved up here to live out my depressing existence in the snow, never expecting to have a YouTube channel. Like I was always kind of talking smack about YouTube many, many, many years ago. I was like, I'll never do anything like that. Da, 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 da. But I saw it as a way to store my videos for free because I couldn't afford even one thumb drive and all my videos are pretty long. So you can imagine those thumb drives get filled up pretty rapidly. So I thought, hey, I'm being smart here. I'm gonna set up a YouTube channel and store all my videos on YouTube's cloud for free. And then this is what came out of it. 
eight years later. Never missed one storm, you guys. Not a one. Which is pretty darn cool. Shows consistency. That's why I think I've got a decent amount of subscribers for what I do. Um, because of the consistency. I might not be that good at what I do, but a lot of you notice that I'm very passionate about it. And so maybe that rings out and is very loud for you guys. So, so you can see that I care about this and care about this little town that I live in. I'd like to eventually move on from, from this town and take this channel to other very snowy places and snowy ski resorts and do like one season in Tahoe and then one season in Mammoth and one season in Aspen and Vail and Crested Butte and Telluride and just all that good stuff. I think that would be awesome to take this channel on the road. But the reason I believe it's so important for us to do the Big Bear stuff is because I think there's this is one of the most tourist visited locations for skiing and just mountain type of activities that there is in the whole country because there's between I think Santa Barbara and San Diego like 30 to 40 plus million people and a lot of people choose to come up here which is freaking awesome freaking awesome all right so we're still getting some of the little light snow flurries as I said this is just a preliminary video the better video will be coming out probably around midnight. Well, who knows what's gonna happen during the rest of this drive. The snow's picking up right now as we're entering the snowiest part of the, uh, the Big Bear Valley. Once again, take a look at the road conditions over here. This, this, this is not a reflection of what the roads are gonna be like coming up though, you guys. That's the thing is that where you guys drive up, that's typically where the storms hit the mountain first and squeeze out a lot of the moisture before it gets here. So um, I doubt it's snowing on that side because of the lower elevation, but if it is, it, it, could, it could be, they could already have white roads already. So just be, be cautious, be prepared. Once it starts snowing more, I will definitely be posting road conditions for you guys in the community section of the channel. I just want you guys to be safe. All right, so we're almost to the Jean-Claude Van Damme. And then we're gonna turn around and drive back the direction that most of you come into town, just so you can get a sense of what it is like. We are gonna turn right on Highway 38 up here and then make a U-turn on Highway 38 and come back through the stoplight. Okay. straight here we're gonna get in this little right turn area it's not a right turn lane but it's a right turn area and then we're gonna make a u-turn right here make sure there's no cars behind us here's the lake stay off lake ice guys very important it cannot hold you it might for a few seconds and then you might slip right through and uh bye bye especially if we have a lot of ice on the lake uh, you could sink underneath and float to a section where you won't have any ability to get up for air it's just so dangerous you guys you guys are so important and you guys are so awesome I, I never want to hear anything like that but it seems like every year that I've lived here there there have been at least one death on the lake because of people not ab abiding by those signs and, and you know what as a youngster like trust me I I would have been like whatever it's not gonna happen to me and just don't take that risk please guys please 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 don't take that risk it's a $500 fine it should be like a $5,000 fine because your lives are way too valuable and check out how windy it is Oh, 
<laughs> Holy smokes. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Wasn't expecting that. So yeah, this is the Big Bear Dam area. And uh, once again, this is typically the snowiest part of the valley. <laughs> Which the valley is, all I'm referring to is the part of town that's about 6,750 feet up to 6,850 feet from here all the way to Baldwin. When you head close to the ski resorts, like right along the side of the ski resorts or Upper Moon Ridge or the top of Sugarloaf, you'll get as much, if not a decent amount more snow up there. But as far as the valley is concerned, you guys, when you enter town from here, try to find a hotel or Airbnb that you guys can stay at that's closest to the dam, like where we're at now. Um, not gonna find any hotels over here, but Airbnb you will if you want more snow. If you're not looking for as much snow, then uh, the further away you can take this road, the less snow you will run into. But I know most of you come up here for the snow, just as that's the reason I moved up here. Solely for the snow, not the lake, not the mountain, nothing, just the snow. And we are getting some snowflakes right now. Um, yeah, let's let's see. Let's see how much uh, how much if any it's picked up on the way back. Once again, this is the main route that you guys will be taking to head into Big Bear. <laughs> Temperatures dropped down to 37. signal accidentally. Alright, and I think this is Castle Rock right here. I could be wrong. Or no, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that is Castle Rock. It's it's one of the most popular trails up here. It takes you up to the to the top of this hill to the right, which has beautiful, beautiful views of the lake. I think it's a one and a half mile round trip, you guys. And sadly, I haven't even climbed that trail yet, but I need to. I was gonna go to the zoo for you guys today and do a recording at the zoo. I thought that would be freaking awesome. can happen today it was really cold but I will get that handled because uh, I haven't even been to the new zoo yet our friend Gabriel Magana from this channel got me an annual pass to the zoo which is just pretty darn cool got it for me years ago and then uh, kept on re-upping it for me and unfortunately I just haven't I haven't gone much and I feel bad about it because I feel like I'm I'm wasting it and I do not want to waste it okay temperature still 37 this is where we are at according to the, the GPS system heading back towards town
one place that I, I want to stay, I've, I've never stayed yet, is this place right here. I can't remember what it's called, but as a kid, always coming up here, I always remember this temperature sign right there. And it would make me so happy knowing that I'm getting really close to the resorts, to the ski resorts. Oh my gosh, it was so happy. Happy times. And the living's easy. That is on the microphone with Ross and Jean. Once again, we're coming up to the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. That is a paid spot to go sledding and do some other fun activities. Once again, even though I've showed you guys a bunch of the free areas to take your children, this is still worth it. It'll, the kids will have a great time. They'll be saving a lot of energy because of the um, the automatic water, the, the mechanical walkway that pulls you up to the top. So they can just keep on sledding without without getting tired. Just fun, fun, fun. Till her daddy took her T-bird away, you know. Another one of my favorite spots. I haven't stayed in a long time, so I don't mention it much. Is the Big Bear Frontier? I like the Big Bear Frontier. We already drove through the village, so we're just gonna do the regular drive around. One of our nicer shops up here to get your ski and snowboard equipment and then some. I will be doing some more restaurants and uh, restaurant interviews and stuff like that. And I'll always be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm not just gonna say like, oh, this is wonderful just because it's in our town. I promise you guys that. No matter what heat I get, honesty is always the most important thing, especially when you guys are cashing in your 401k just to come stay up here for a weekend. So I just, I, just I, I wanna make sure you guys have the best experience you can and, uh, and avoid any travesty when possible. And when you come up here too, once you pass Pine Knot and Robin Hood Resort, try to stay in this left lane because the right lane is full of potholes. I mean, full of potholes, it's bad. still getting some snow flurries once again I don't know if you can see them but if you look at the headlights you can you can kind of see them coming down here's where we're at again in conjunction with where the lake is such a beautiful place such a beautiful place Traffic's flowing beautifully. A bunch of people have left town because it's Sunday. So those of you who want to come enjoy this little bit of snow, get on up here. You're going to have the town to yourself. It'll be nice. It will be nice. And always, if you guys have any questions about anything, please never hesitate to ask me. I will always do my best to answer your question to the best of my ability. And if it's something that I don't know, I'm not just going to guess for you guys. Like, I'll... I'll always take the time to look it up or refer you to 
what I think would be a good source. Alright, so we're gonna go up to the we're gonna go up to the roundabouts through the back way. And then end the drive like that. We're gonna drive through the roundabouts where it's so lit up. So we can kind of see the snow coming down. And then as I said, we will hop back in the ride a little bit later and do another video for y'all once it starts snowing good. If it does start snowing good, I'm gonna stay hopeful. We have our friend Noah, probably not watching this far into the video, but Noah is somewhat new on this channel and he is bringing his girlfriend up here. He should be here probably now for Valentine's Day. And I just wish you guys a wonderful stay and I hope you have a beautiful time and create some amazing memories together. Please enjoy Big Bear and as I told you guys before, don't ever hesitate to contact me if you have any questions about anything. Because without you guys coming up here and spending money, none of us get to live here. At least 90 plus percent of us don't get to live here because we rely on you guys creating the jobs. And I will never forget that. No matter how frustrated I get sometimes, you guys are the best. End of story. So right now we're on a street called Catalina Road. And as I said, we're taking the back way into Moon Ridge right now. second okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn right this is Elm Street <laughs> don't go to sleep <laughs> and we're gonna turn left on this street I always forget what it's called but we're gonna take this to the end of the roundabout section Ratburn we're on Ratburn guys thank you guys for cruising with me thank you guys for being a part of this journey I'm taking um, I enjoy doing this. It's, 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 it's a lot of fun. As you guys know, it's been eight years without ever asking for subscribers or the like button or anything. And, and I decided, you know what, I might as well try to, for my future, create something so I can live off of what I'm passionate about. And so if this can end up making me a few bucks down the road, that would be great. Even with 15,000 subscribers, you guys, there's there's not much money to be made. About eight months out of the year, I don't get anything from YouTube, nothing at all. So, you know, but I see potential. And uh, why not follow your passion and make a living? I don't see anything wrong with that. I'm not selling out, I'm not gonna change who I am. I'm always gonna to respond to the comments to the best of my ability. Always do what I can to help you guys out. All right, so let's go up here and make a U-turn and then go back through the roundabouts and then this video will be kaput. And if you guys are enjoying this, I know this might be kind of a boring video, but if you're enjoying this, please hit the like and subscribe button. Maybe hit that notification bell for your boy. I would appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me turn up the brightness inside the car. There we go. Okay. So we are entering the roundabouts now. Let's see. There's no one behind us, so I'll slow, slow way down so we can see if there's any, uh, if you can see any snow coming from that light pool. No, you can't see much. As I said, it just, just began to, to flurry outside, so I'm not expecting to see heavy snow yet, but there is a chance to get a couple hours of some decent snow, and you guys know I'll be out there. I take this seriously because uh, the more and more years that I've done this, the more and more I know that it helps with, uh, with safety and, and people's minds to rest, assuring that they at least know what to expect. And that's very important because a lot of people are white knuckling it, just driving the freeway to get up here because they're constantly thinking about how 
scary the roads are gonna be. And I don't want you guys to go through that fear. I wanna be able to help you guys the best I can to at least know what to anticipate. So anyway, we are done with this drive. Thank you guys again for everything. I appreciate it. I will uh, do another video later for y'all. Love you guys very much. Thank you for all the support, all the supportive comments. Um, even the ones that are a, a few haters out there, thank you too. You're only helping the channel by watching, so thank you. I appreciate it. Love you guys. Take care. And just be loving.